G'day my friends, Marty Weir here from Marty's Garden. Have I added a quick little exciting video for you today? Yep, it's a micro vlog about my avocado tree and the thinning of the flowers. Yep, all the flowers are falling off because of the wind and a few other things. Now, what's a micro vlog to say? Well, on the micro farm, quick little video because I'm super busy at the moment. I'm gonna roll out these little micro vlogs of stories going on around here so you can learn, get educated, going on at the same time and we don't miss out on going well i've got time to produce a video so micro vlogging for a little while might be the way to go give us a big thumbs up if you like that be stoked to hear from you think you like to hear those few minute micro vlogs anyway let's get stuck into it we got a whole big storm come through well not so much a big storm but lots of wind and my tree is thinning out the flowers at the moment it's deciding how many fruits it wants to keep now when we do get strong winds and sometimes big storms it just can't be helped. The flowers, we are going to lose flowers and we could lose fruits in the very early stages. But just keep in mind that the trees, when they're young, they know how much fruit they can support. So they will naturally thin off flowers, especially when they're really young, right? You should actually be, be removing fruit in the first year because the tree can't naturally support it. So what we do is, is we just feed it lots of nice compost, some worm tea if you got it, Keep it mulched, keep it moist, but make sure the avocados aren't dripping wet. They hate it, they need good drainage soil. And lots of sunlight. The more sunlight they have, the more they'll photosynthesize, the more flowers they'll produce, and then the more fruit they'll get. And you've got to make sure that obviously there's you know pollinating insects around. Now a pollinating insect could be an ant, a moth, a bee, lots of different things will pollinate fruits. And so we're hoping that as many flowers as we can get pollinated during that thinning process, right? We want them dropping down and then hanging on to a few, the nice fruits falling under the leaves and then staying there and getting a harvest. So that's the great thing. So what I wanna do is just like reach out to you guys and say, don't panic when you see the fruits falling off. Just do your best to take care of that tree and it will produce for you in its right time for sure. Just love your avocado tree. And just like I love mine out here on this little micro farm here in my garden, you now I've got the small space for permaculture garden going on. If you want to learn more about Avox, heaps of videos on this channel, old ones and new ones. Check them out. I'm sure you'll really dig it. I've got more micro vlogs coming up on the way. Next one we're going to talk about the cardboard that I've been collecting from the egg cartons for the worm farms. It's going to be really cool. We'll see you in the next video slash vlog interview slash live show what's going on here at marty's garden super busy a great day i'll see you at the next video real soon bye for now